We'll be hearing lots more from the re- soon to be retiring traffic tracker, obviously, or maybe never retiring <laughs> traffic tracker. <laughs> Here's Ken Schultz. Chance for showers today, the higher round. It's a pre-dawn routine he's been going through every morning in Louisville for over a decade. And when it comes to an end Monday, Dick Gilbert doesn't hesitate to say he'll miss it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's no question about it. The thing you miss, of course, as you, you well know, you've been up there enough, it's that perspective from 500 feet. It's an, utter, it's an entirely different world. So let's check in with Dick Gilbert in Skywatch 84 and see how traffic looks. Dick? All righty. Well, we're coming up on the Waterson Expressway here, and things are looking pretty good. The Dixie ramp is wide open. I don't see any hang up. From chain reaction accidents to YC and snow-covered streets and a tornado, Gilbert has seen just about everything. A pioneer in traffic reporting, Gilbert worked in Chicago and New York before returning to his native Louisville with his daughter after his wife died in 1969. All those years of watching people drive has made Dick somewhat skeptical about the value of his reports. They're not paying attention to what I'm saying or the rest of If I start sounding like I'm really talking about something serious, get off the expressways because <laughs> you're allowed to get caught in a big jam. We help. I mean, when something is seriously blocked, like the, if there's a patch of ice, south of Fern Valley Road on northbound 65. At least they know that Dick said there is ice there, and so it's going to be slow. I better leave a few minutes early, give myself a little cushion. I think this is, this is all that we're really uh, trying to achieve. What are you going to do? No cowboys in the place. I'm exhausted. I have been working and pulling, and, and Landry will not listen to me, Wayne. He just... It's his kidding back and forth with Wayne Perky and Ken Schultz and the rest of the morning crew that Gilbert thinks people listen for and has made the show by far Louisville's most listened to radio program. Traffic is dull as dishwater. And to get up there and simply recite, it's like reading school closings or reading out of the phone book. I mean, it doesn't have anything going for it. I think the original idea was for me to be a fall guy for Wayne and for Jeff Douglas. And... Uh, I'm not set up that way constitutionally. I, uh, I want to give back at least as good as I got and, and hopefully a little bit better. It's interesting that people who live in Shelby County and never come to Louisville, uh, people who live in uh, counties in southern Indiana and drive to Bedford or Corydon uh, love Dick, never use his services. I get calls from people in Lexington who love him but never come to Louisville. I just really like Dick and feel about him uh, very much as a friend. I think he's helped us become what we have become. And uh, because of that, I think he's very important. And, and there will be a loss. Although he is retiring, Gilbert says, don't be surprised if one morning during your first cup of coffee, you again hear his familiar voice. I don't have to be flying and giving graphic, but I can call him up on the phone and say, what did you just say about such and such? And River Road, Zorn Avenue, uh, Brownsboro Road, Hurstburn Lane, they all look real good. So this is Tonight at 11, Dick talks about life after Skywatch 84. Dick Gilbert, Skywatch 84, WHAF. Thank you, Traffic Checker. Have a good day. See you tomorrow. Alrighty. If you're looking for John Shumway, Action 11 News. Come by Jay's Konditerei at 4th and Market in Germany. If anyone ever told me that I'd still be flying at 60 or even at 50 or 40, I mean, that's, you don't do that. All of my friends have either fallen into rivers or fallen into management by that time. See, you don't keep A World War II bombardier who later flew fighter planes and then helicopters, Dick Gilbert's first love has always been flying, and that's what he will probably miss most when he lands Skywatch 84 for his last time Monday morning. I feel more at home in that particular helicopter or any of its twins than I do in my car. People throughout Kentuckiana have gotten used to hearing Dick Gilbert in the helicopter and are not necessarily ready for him to retire, including morning comrade Wayne Perky. Dot Chen says Merry Christmas and goes on to say, I uh, don't think Dick should retire until the rest of us retire. I, I think that's a fairly simple request, Richard. <laughs> a very reasonable request, but, I should think. Well, I can't help it just because the rest of you people are lagging behind on the, uh, the uh, trip through life. Retirement for a guy who's such an integral part of us is something you cannot possibly ignore. Uh, so I've decided that we'll do like we've done with everything else and try to have some fun with it. You know, you can't take us, we can't take ourselves too seriously. You know, I'd like to see him stay. I have three kids in college and two more on the way. <laughs> but I've already tried my bend and knee approach and he won't give in. Perhaps Dick's most memorable moment came during the 1974 tornado. There is no real tight uh, definitive tornado as such. 
It's still turning at a lot. Yes, there's one now. Started, yes, dipping down from the bottom of the cloud. Now the wind damage hit the roof of Freedom Hall. I didn't really believe that was a tornado even after I saw it here. I thought it was just a highly concentrated thing. I've talked to, I wouldn't say hundreds, but I've talked to dozens of people also that I consider to be reasonable, uh, reasonably intelligent observers and so forth, and they've all admitted that it did not look, they were close enough to see it, it did not look like a tornado. His reporting brought a presidential citation and title as Helicopter Pilot of the Year. But even more rewarding to Gilbert is how the people who listen to WHAS have made him one of the family. I don't think that broadcasting can go any further than that. I think that's about the ultimate accolade. Dick says retirement will give him more time to sharpen his skills on the organ, which he adds is a lot like flying a helicopter. You're using both hands and both feet. And sometimes it gets pretty frantic too, just like it does when the tower calls me in the middle of a broadcast or something, and I have to... <laughs> have you ever crashed an organ? <laughs> no, no, I haven't spun in on that thing yet. A native Louisvillian, Dick plans to eventually leave town, but he's got an apartment building, his home, two cars, a van, a camper, and a speedboat to get rid of first. And in typical carefree Gilbert style, he's in no rush. If I can get my financial things in order and get that big, huge sailing boat that I want and uh, get the organ on the, on the organ and the dog on the sailing boat and uh, we might just cast off and say bye-bye. If the wind blows, we move. If it doesn't blow, we don't move. Who cares? <laughs> John Shumway, Action 11 News, 19.